Hey y'all, this is another Beatles fan, and we haven't done an unboxing in a while. So here I am with the Smiths, the Queen is Dead LP. Um, this is an unboxing, of course, but it's also an excuse to talk about this album, which is one of my favorite albums from the 80s. And I gotta be honest, I knew about the Smiths before 2024, but this is the year where I really got into them. And I just love them. I'm in a... Uh, uh, a Smith's craze, I'd say, and this record, of course, it's the Smith's mo most famous one, but it's got every single reason to be, because the artwork is incredible, the guitar riffs are amazing, the um, lyricism, Morris's lyricism is otherworldly, really, I, I think it's, it it's incredibly different from everything I've ever heard, and... The Smiths are incredibly different. I think I love that they have such a trademark, right? So let's open this up. This was a I'm opening opening up with a pick, a guitar pick. I've seen this somewhere. Uh, someone opening on YouTube opening the the record with the guitar pick, and I figured, you know, it's it's maybe better than getting a razor blade or whatever close or, or some scissors close to the the album right anyway let's open this up my girlfriend gave me this as um, an anniversary gift and I'm super grateful of course and again I knew of this record I know this record inside and out now but it, it was really something that that I became more more familiar with it throughout this year and look at this artwork man it looks so good in person and I think it, it's looking good in camera as well what do you guys think about this one so it's a gatefold I've never seen the inside of the gatefold so let's let's check it out of course the guys and the lyrics it's got to have the lyrics right you, you've seen it you've seen it before me but yeah the lyrics are here it's a gatefold but this side here is kind of glued together i've seen this done more often than not and here we have the the disc in itself out of the cover so it's got it, I don't know if this is Morrissey I don't think so maybe it's the same guy from the cover yeah so I'm trying to read here because it's got some info here the the technical info of the album so the Smiths are left to right Andrew Rourke Morrissey Johnny Marr and Mike Joyce Cover star, Alan Dillon, Elaine Dillon, Take Me Back to Dear Old Blightly, that's the the song, right? Sleeve by Morrissey, so pretty sure it's him. I don't know, to be honest. It's got a bit of a, a bit of a mark in here. But let's see the record in, its, in itself. I don't like when record comes in only paper sleeves. That's something that Paul McCartney does a lot. And that kind of annoys me, to be honest. So I'm going to replace this for a plastic one. Here it is. The Smiths. The Queen is dead. I don't believe I've, I, I've said the, the album title so far. But this is side two. And this is side one. Looking at it, yeah, it's got some dust, surface dusting, but it's minor, really. It's it's looking really good. Seems flat, fortunately. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one right now. Listen to it. But that's it. It's a five-minute video about the Queen is dead. I love it. I just gotta mention that my favorite song. Oh, it, it's super hard to choose, to be honest. But 
of course there is a light that never goes out is a song that is is hyped up i gotta say on the internet but my favorite one may just be cemetery gates or some girls are bigger than others or big mouth strikes again yeah it's probably big mouth strikes again to be honest i just love that one so if you haven't heard it i know this is a beatles channel but if you haven't give this album a chance because of course it's awesome it's the smiths what can you say right i'm not a huge fan of of indie rock but the smiths just grab me in a different way anyway guys see you later thank you so much